That means control. Control of your emotions. Control of your physical appetites. And control of your sense of what's right and what's wrong. All these controls are especially important to young people in their expanding personal and social activities, particularly those involving drinking and sex. These can be exciting and at the same time bewildering. Like a car rolling down a steep hill, alcohol and emotions build their own momentum. If you lose control, you can end up in difficulty or with damage. Your control, your care and protection of your well-being is up to you. Perhaps you don't like the taste of liquor or have strong feelings against it. Then by all means, don't drink. You will never be one of those who have problems with alcohol. On the other hand, there are many people who drink in moderation with no problems, social, moral, or medical. They have learned to enjoy liquor without letting it upset the functioning of their body and mind. The effect of alcohol tends to be misleading. It's not a stimulant, quite the opposite. In a moderate amount, alcohol is like a sedative, a tranquilizer. It relaxes you, makes you more congenial. This helps make a gathering cheerful and friendly. And this is where the momentum becomes dangerous. One relaxing drink calls for another until that moderate amount becomes too much. Now the effect is like anesthesia, like ether. She feels no pain until the next day. Headache, stomach ache, just sick all over. She has abused her system and she's paying for it. 